Hello everyone, this is Nicole Hetty from Paper Tray Inc. And today I'm going to share a bit with you about how to create a dimensional sentiment banner. I did this during the last countdown and it seemed like a lot of people were interested in uh, learning how to do it. So I thought I would take you step by step through that today. So sit back and relax and let's get started. To begin with today, as I show you how to make this card, and we're actually going to do the background first, and it uses the stamp set Sending You by Melissa Bickford. And I'm starting with one of the large starburst flowers first, and I'm inking that with Aquamist ink. And I've got vintage cream cardstock here, a block that measures three and three quarters by five inches. And I'm going to start by stamping three of these large flowers. Like I said, all with Aquamist. I've always loved these Starburst flowers. I think they've got so much style to them. They really, they're unique. Okay, now that we have the largest flowers stamped, I'm going back in with the medium size flower. And now I'm using Hawaiian Shores ink. And I'm going to stamp that right in the center. Of each of these. Like so. And then I'm going to add the leaves. I'm using Spring Moss Ink. And these leaves are from Sending You as well. And I'm going to start with the largest leaf. And I'm just going to go, go around and fill in a lot of the blank areas. I'm going to add one right here too. And now I'm going to go back in with the small leaf and just fill in some more blanks. Okay, so we have that. And then there's a small um, cluster of three flowers, three small flowers. I'm going to go in with Hawaiian Shores ink and add a few of those to fill in some additional spaces here. And add a pop of additional color. Okay, so this is kind of what we end up with here. As one last finishing touch on this, I'm going to go in on the small flower clusters we just did and I'm going to add three little dots to the center of each one with a fine tip pen. If you're not detail oriented and are trying to do something fairly quick, you could totally skip this step, but I just like the way it finishes off the centers of these little flowers. Okay, so we have that, and as a last step for this portion of the card, I'm going to round the corners of this layer with the Cropadel Corner Chomper. Okay, so we have that, and the next step is going to be the actual sentiment banner. Now to start this sentiment banner, I have a strip of cardstock. It measures one half inch by 11 inches. Um, this is just the dimensions that I found that work best for me, but obviously you could be flexible with that based on what your design was. Um, I am going to stamp the smallest dots from Polka Dot Basics 2 on one side of this using Hawaiian Shores ink. Move down the length of it here. Get the 
whole thing covered. So this is covered with the small bitty dots now, and I'm going to uh, flip it over here. And this is where you actually um, just completely kind of um, wing it with the folding. Um, I've got, I know I want to start with the upper portion pointing in this direction here. So I'm just going to start about, oh, I don't know, two inches or so down, and I'm just going to create a fold like this. You don't need to do any scoring or anything, just kind of go with it. And the end result is, is that you want this top portion angled up at about a 45 degree angle. So I'm going to go back and fold the next section over, and what you want to do is see the angle of this compared to the first fold that we made. The second fold, you want to kind of align the first section with your new section. So see, here's the first section right here, and if you look right here, it's running practically right alongside at the same exact angle as the first fold that we made. You want to do the same thing for your next fold, and you can see these two are running exactly at the same angle. And we're going to do a final fold that does the same thing for the third time. So you can see what you end up with here is the three back portions line up with each other and the two front portions line up with each other. So what you want to do next is to grab a pencil and you want to mark which way is up because we're actually going to unfold this to stamp our sentiments and it can be, it's a little bit easier if you just mark this with pencil so you don't get confused. So I know this is going to be my top and this is my bottom. So I've made an arrow here with marking what side is the top for when I unfold it. So now I'm going to unfold this and I know this is... Um, the top portion of the sentiment banner. So I'm going to stamp you are your true from friends till the end in that folded section with Hawaiian Shores ink. And then the second section that I marked with pencil, I'm going to stamp friend also from friends till the end. So you can see there's your true and friend. And when I go back along the fold that I made earlier, you can see I end up with this. So you can take this opportunity to go ahead and erase your pencil marks. And I'm going to trim the ends of this strip. Um, I want this a little bit shorter. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little V to this end, like that. And I know I want this just a little bit shorter. And this is really just, I mean, use your artistic eye and just kind of... Um, have everything to balance out and visually look appealing and it really you know I mean it's it's kind of like I said free form you just have to do kind of what feels right to your eye so now we're gonna go ahead and assemble the card I've got a spring moss card base a2 card base and I'm going to adhere the background panel that we created earlier to the front of the card Just like so. Now when attaching the sentiment banner, you want to fold it so your sentiment's facing up and then flip the whole thing over. And the two parts with the V that you trimmed out plus the center portion is the only places you want to add adhesive. 
So flip it back over. And what I like to do is just adhere this top portion of the banner and then curve the top sentiment portion just a tiny bit. See how I've pulled up the center a little bit? Just pull it up a little bit. And then adhere the very middle. And what you do is you're able to preserve that curve and give your card a little bit of dimension. You want to do the same thing when you adhere the bottom portion. Can you see? So if I adhered it flat, it'd be like that. But if I give it that part a little bit of a push and then press down this bottom portion, you get that nice curve and it makes everything look a little bit more dimensional. Okay, so we have that. I've got two Hawaiian Shores buttons here that I've already threaded with some twine. And I'm going to add one there. And add a second one here. And there you have it. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you've uh, learned a little bit of something that you can apply to your own projects. And we look forward to seeing your take on this. Thanks for joining us today.